Minecraft Pocket Edition, we're looking at how to install add-ons. This will be about the same for all devices, and it's really easy. So first up, you're going to want to go to a site where you can download them. We have uh, MC Pedal here, which is what I typically use. I will also have my site that I'll show in a sec here. Uh, you pick the add-on that you want, you download the specific Minecraft type file, and you should do this basically, I'd say, on a computer, but you can do it off your phone and then you're going to download it. But I'm going to show that a bit later. Now I'm going to be showing my site, which is minecraft.gamerheadquarters.com. Again, both in the description. I have a add-ons page here, and while it's empty now, it will be filled and sorted with curated Minecraft add-ons and favorites that I pick with a watch link, a download link, and information generally right there. Now we're going to go on to actually downloading them. So once you've downloaded the file, I suggest putting it somewhere. You can do it in an email, or like I have here with the OneDrive. So I have a special folder just for Pocket Edition maps. You get the file, you open it, and it will give you the option to actually copy it to Minecraft. It'll open in Minecraft, and it will say the file has successfully been imported. Bam, there you go. So now we're going to go to play. This is a custom world I've set up. We have resource packs and behavior packs. So previously I had the Pokey add-on put in there. We're going to take those off, you just tap them and then you do the minus. Then we're going to go back here and we are going to choose the Gigamobs in order to activate it. And then we run the world and the add-ons appear. If you have any questions, let me know. This one's really cool, I definitely suggest checking it out. Uh, they're easy to do, they'll give you new textures, new behaviors, completely change the game. There's going to be more settings in the future. It's really what people make in Minecraft and how they change the files. It's readily available online. We're not going over that. But I hope this helped you actually get add-ons into your game. And I will be curating and checking out more and posting them here.